All right, so let's look at some more examples of L'Hopital's rule. Uh, so basically what we have here is if we plug A in for X, okay, and we get 0 over 0, infinity over infinity, or negative infinity over negative infinity, then we can apply L'Hopital's rule, and that says that the limit of f of x over g of x as x goes to a is equal to the limit of the derivative of the numerator over the derivative of the denominator as x goes to a. Okay. And provided the limit on this limit here exists or is plus or minus infinity. And the rule also applies if this as x goes to a is replaced with x goes to plus or minus infinity or x goes to a from the right or to the from the left. Okay. All right. So let's let's look at this example. All right. So let's see. As x goes to infinity, we have uh, this term here goes to zero because x is getting really big. So this fraction here is going to zero. So one plus zero is zero. I mean, I'm sorry, 1 plus 0 is 1, and x is going to infinity, so I have, I have 1 raised to the infinity. And that's an indeterminate form. All right, so let's take a look at how we work these. Okay? Remember, the, the whole point of L'Hopital's rule is getting it in one of those forms of 0 over 0, or infinity over infinity, or negative infinity over negative infinity. So when we have an indeterminate form like this, 1 to the infinity. What we want to do is we want to come here and we're going to say let y equal 1 plus 1 over x raised to the x. Okay, and that's what we're going to let y equal. And then we're going to take the natural log. So the natural log of y is equal to the natural log of 1 plus 1 over x raised to the x, which equals, now remember that rule that says we can take this exponent and bring it down in front. So that's x times natural log 1 plus 1 over x. All right, so let's see what we're dealing with now. Okay, remember, remember, we're taking the limit as x goes to infinity. So here, x would be going to infinity. If x is going to infinity here, that's going to be 1 over a really big number, which is 0. So that's the natural log of 1, which is 0. So we have infinity times 0, which we can't do that. So let's rewrite this. Okay, All I'm doing right now is just getting it in, in the, trying to rewrite this so it's in the, in the form of 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity, one of those. So this I can rewrite as the natural log of 1 plus 1 over x over 1 over x. Okay. Now let me just show you how that works out. Okay. So this is the natural log of 1 plus 1 over x divided by 1 over x or times the reciprocal of this. And so you can see that this is the same thing as this. Alright, so let's go ahead and, and erase this. And let's see what that does for us. Alright, so the limit as x goes to infinity, well, as this bottom part here, as x goes to infinity, the denominator, well, this fraction here in the denominator goes to 0, and then we know that this is 0. So that would be 0 over 0, because as x gets really big, this fraction is going to 0, so the natural 1 plus 0 is 1, and the natural log of 1 would be 0. Okay, so now we have it written like we want it. So now let's come back and let's take 
the limit as x goes to infinity of the natural log of y, okay, which is equal to the limit as x goes to infinity. Well, what's the natural log of y? It's the it's the same thing as this. So I can replace natural log of y with this. So that's going to be the natural log of 1 plus 1 over x over 1 over x. And just as we discussed earlier, okay, remember when we talked about x going to infinity in this, we get 0 over 0? Well, this is 0 over 0. So now I can apply L'Hopital's rule. All right. So this is going to be the limit as x goes to infinity. Now let's take the derivative of this. Let me, I'm going to come down below and do it. So this is going to be the limit as x goes to infinity. Now the derivative of the numerator, remember that's 1 plus 1 over x. That goes in the denominator. And in the numerator is the derivative of this. So derivative of 1 is 0. And then the derivative of 1 over x, and I'm not going to go through how to do this. You should know how to do it. That's negative 1 over x squared. And then that's divided by, and then the derivative of 1 over x, well, we just did it here. That's negative 1 over x squared. And so this is the limit as x goes to infinity. Okay, and this is what? Negative 1 over x squared over 1 plus 1 over x times, see it's this divided by this. So it's this times the reciprocal. So times negative x squared over 1. And so you can see if we multiply numerators, multiply denominators, this is going to be the limit as x goes to in, oh, the limit as x goes to infinity. And when I multiply this, well, negative times a negative is positive. The x squareds cancel, and so that's going to leave me with one over one plus one over x. And so I take the limit as x goes to infinity. Well, as x goes to infinity, this term here goes to 0. And so I'm left with 1 over 1, which equals 1. Okay. So this is the limit of natural log of y as x goes to infinity. Okay. All right. Now, we have the limit as x goes to infinity of 1 plus 1 over x to the x. This is what we're finding. We're wanting to find the limit of. Okay. So we're going to use all this. We're going to use this to evaluate this limit. Well, the limit of 1 plus 1 over x to the x, that's the same thing as the limit as x goes to infinity of y. Okay, so how did I get that? Well, remember up here, I said let y equal 1 plus 1 over x to the x. So I just took this and replaced it with y. Okay. All right. Now, what do I know? Well, I know that the limit of natural log of y as x goes to infinity, I know that's equal to 1. Okay, but I don't have natural log y, I have just y. Okay, is there another way you can think of, of how to write y? Well, isn't, isn't y the same thing as e to the natural log y? 
Okay. Remember, there's a property that says if this and this are the same, your answer is what you're taking the log of. All right. And so remember, natural log, that's that is log base e. Okay. And since this and the base here are the same, our answer is just y. So y can be written as this. And so that means this is equal to the limit as x goes to infinity of e to the natural log of y. Okay. Well, look at this. Okay. x goes to infinity. Well, the limit of natural log y as x goes to infinity is 1. So this is just 1. So this is equal to e to the first, which is just equal to e. And so that's the limit. That's the limit of this, of this, of the problem we were looking for. All right. So I hope this video helped. Uh, I'll probably do another one of these uh, in another video, one similar to it. Uh, I hope it helped. If you like it, you can subscribe. All right. Thanks.